Hello everybody and welcome back to the Nexus server. Now today we've got a couple of things we're gonna do. Um first of all we're gonna look at this. Oh well there's actually been some more stuff. There's a Spider Man now, okay. Um so this is now Pixel Art Town apparently. Okay. That's kinda cool I guess. Um but yes, we have here and this is a little prezzy for you to say congrats on a hundred subs. We'll see you at 200 subs, dude. You deserve it. So thank you very much. This was um, the X Gamer and Snowshock. I believe this was the X Gamer and this was Snowshock. And they are both really awesome, actually. Um, <laughs> this was a present, and it had some emeralds and diamonds in it, and also these blocks of emeralds. And also there's this portrait of me, the great, the mighty, the noobish, the YouTuberish Conconuts from Snow. And I believe there was something up here. P.S. This is only the beginning, so yeah, he's probably gonna prank us at some point soon. But I don't know we might leave this here. This might be like the the great symbol. Um, of course, we'll remove that and we'll have to. Oh, is it? Oh, I don't think there's a middle. Oh no. But yeah, he has actually got my face. Mhm. Mm if we just if we just look. He's, he's done a good job. I'm very impressed. So yeah, that's the monument of me. Um, let me check this back on. Apparently, someone's been doing some Mars Magica because there weren't no mages spawning around here before. So yeah, someone's been doing some magic. So yeah, we'll have a quick look around actually first. Um, I do have a clip to show you, and I will roll that in a minute once we've finished this. Right, so it looks like he's got some essence here. Um, this is the way up to the roof and stuff. I don't think he's actually got anything in the church itself or at like the castle itself. Oh wow, he's done a lot of work around here. I haven't seen this stuff yet. So he's got some marble. And by the way, guys, I'm playing in the Fax texture pack. Um, I will probably, I might be reverting back soon. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, so he's got some armor stands and wow, this looks cool. So he's got his power armor. Um. <laughs> I seriously need to stop yawning, oh my goodness. Yeah, this is the um, texture pack, and it's got most of the stuff. There's not much that we're missing. I think the only things we are missing are things like, um, I think, Ars Magica and Necromancy, a couple of small stuff like that. Possibly Soul Shards. Soul Shards, um, I'm not sure actually. Uh, probably. Uh, maybe magical crops as well. Actually. Hey, dude. Um, he's, this is Scott's base, by the way. He's got his Emmy, Emmy stuff. He's got some. He's got all sorts, really. Uh, I believe he actually recorded recently as well. So make sure to check that out. The, there's a um, link to his channel, of course, as always, in the old um, on the channel. Um, I'll probably make like a doc somewhere that has everybody's channel links. Um, wow, he's been doing some work. So this is all quarried out and stuff, and more mages. So uh, I'm gonna guess it's either. Uh, it doesn't look like he did it. I don't know where he's chucked all his stuff though. He's apparently relocated everything. But the other guy's base that's here is the one and only. X Gamer from EcoX Productions. Um, apparently, there's a Spider-Man thing there as well. He's got his tank of liquid XP. He hasn't moved it in a while. Also, there's some chests here with some AA guns. And yeah. Oh god. Um, it needs to be also from cows. Believe. Ah, uh, I think he used like a. I've never actually made one, but we might be making one soon. I'm not sure. Um, so this is actually red wool and black wool. This looks really, really, really good. Um, yeah. Like whoa. <laughs> yeah, I quite like that. That looks awesome. 
and we'll head up here. This is actually the laser, not the one that was stolen, of course, but this is a laser. Um, if we stand in here, then we'll be set on fire properly. Um, oh, hello. But he's got some energy cells powering this, and everything that comes out is coming through here. He's not getting anything right now, which is a bit strange. Is the laser working? I think so. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about the um, lasers. I've never made one myself, but uh, I'm pretty sure that to get the pink slime for it, you need to do that. I'm not sure. Anyway, so yeah, that, and then we'll go down into the base. And yes, there's a lot of Z fighting, but I think I fixed that in the newest one. He's got a blue force infuser, okay. Um, and of course. You might use someone else's infuser, you'll get over it. But I've actually upgraded quite a bit. Um, yeah, I've done a fair bit of Force uh, Darkcraft. I decided not to record it because I didn't think it was that interesting, but yeah. Um, this is the enchanting area. Um, he's got all his stuff packed into here. There's actually a safe here that I can open. Could be because I'm opt. Quite probably because I'm opt. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll do up myself soon. Then I'm only opt so in case I need to restart the server or anything quickly. Um, but yeah, he's got his machines, all his AE. He's doing something with hardened. Oh, he's been dying hardened clay. Um, he's got all this. These have uh, EVs and the new update that we've got. It'll be our last update, I believe, or last major update. It should be awesome. It should be huge. Um, we're adding a lot of stuff, which should be cool. But yeah, this looks quite nice. It looks good in the default as well. I might revert back, but for this episode, we're going to be using this. Um, this is Zimob Spawner, the Iron Farm. Um, uh, he's got a sound muffler up in there somewhere, and all of the iron is here. There's 10,000, oh no, 108,000 iron, which is a bit impressive. And here's all like the stuff from necromancy, all the muscles and everything, it's kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure what's meant to. Be. Oh, swords. Uh, I don't know if he's using all this stuff, but we might do some necromancy soon, but I'm not sure. Not sure. Uh, this is his, like Flans area, he's got his weapons. Uh, all his boxes, the Z fighting is horrible here. Ooh, uh, it's because we've got Optifine on, but yeah. Uh, anyway, this still needs lighting up, but he's got Magnum Torches, so it doesn't really matter. But this is like his basic processing area, and also where he was doing some Galacticraft, which is now in the pack. We might be doing some of that soon, also. That could be cool. We won't be doing any today because it's going to take a while. Um, his essence berry bushes. Um, we might make an XP farm or something like that actually. Um, using these, uh, some tinker stuff and some other stuff. And yeah, there's not a lot more except one of these is a door. There we go. And this is all his witchery stuffs. So he's got a drum of water. All his witchery stuff here, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah does have a fair bit of stuff. He's got an altar, but he hasn't got any upgrades on the altar yet. Uh, I guess this is like his... Oh, this is how he asks all his stuff. But yeah, and then there's a mini mini him in the wall. Kind of like a... Oh, base. But yeah, that is about it for what I intend to show you guys. Um, I haven't done much more myself, so... I'm going to quickly roll that clip and then we'll get into what we're doing. We'll only have like five minutes left, so we'll probably just come back and do a world tour. So, thank you for watching. In fact, no, I think I will cut it back here because we'll just have a shorter episode. We've done a little tour, we've done a little bit. Um, so, yeah, we might as well head back. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this short episode, but. I just wanted to record something and just show you 
bit about what's going on. We'll probably um, be setting up something next episode. I think we might do a laser drill or something like that. Possibly, I'll see, or at least some more farming because we haven't got many farms going. This is the first farm I've built on the server, so yeah, well, except for a tree farm at spawn. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Adios. Alrighty, guys, so as you just saw, I've done a little bit of upgrading. Um, this was actually filmed before. This is just a little quick clip that I've, I've recorded. This is filmed before the episode, the rest of the episode. And that's because it was just some stuff I was doing. So we've actually got an awful lot of stuff now as um, that was just like the intro little part and this is just something else. So I've actually put a time torch, for some reason it says black force torch. But yeah we've got a time torch on here and this is getting just stuff and stuff and stuff. More like loot sort of things than we could ever need. Uh, we need to work on something here. Um, I haven't actually got anything in the Mac yet, but we do have automation of some kinds. Uh, as you can see, we've actually got like cooked fish being made, and I'll show you all that shortly. But book, if we look at our enchanted book stuff, we've got loads of them. Um, now we probably need to sort something out for that. Um, most likely, it'll be a filing cabinet. Um, probably one of these things, and we'll actually. Probably make one now. We have any chest? We do. We have nine. We need iron. And we get some of that. We go up here. Like that. Like that. Like that. We got a iron cabinet. Um, and we can actually start just storing some of our books and stuff. So I'm gonna do that quickly. But yeah, as you can see, we have an awful lot of like enchanted books, and it's just ridiculous. But luckily, the filing cabinet actually stores them all like together and stuff. So instead of instead of like it is now, um, but I think we need to get a thing called a fuzzy export bus or something like that. Um, just to pull out all of the enchanted books, but we'll work on that in a bit. I'll show you what I've got done as of right now. But yeah, we've got a bit of stuff. Anyway, um, all right. So behind here is actually the smelting system. If we expose it fully, we've got a time torch there that's set to hyper mode, and we've got a furnace. Now around the furnace. Above it, we have an a export bus that's saying we want raw fish, and that's going to pull raw fish out of our system. This is all very messy right now, and this actually serves no purpose, so we can remove that, make it look a bit nicer. Um, what else have we got that isn't needed here? Uh, this piece of cable, this has no purpose whatsoever either, which is good to get rid of. Um, but yes, yeah, so if we come around, um, we've got an export bus here, which is going to keep this constantly stored up with coal. Um, and actually, we're going to disconnect from the power here, so we need to rehook this up. Not that it matters because we have our own power source anyway, as well as the potions. So for now, we'll leave that. In fact, yeah, we'll be running a of this, and these can all do their thing. We'll just leave it like this for now. It's all very messy stuff. In fact, this might be getting, but I really don't know. Anyway, but export bus, we want fish. Export bus, we want coal. Underneath, <sighs> sorry about that, I guess. But underneath, we have this basic import bus. Um, this is going to be pulling anything out from the furnace. For some reason, it has to be set there. I thought you'd set it on the side, but apparently not. That deals with the coal, apparently. Not entirely sure why, I know that with old pipes that's how it used to work, but this is fine anyway, we can still hide all the cables, and we even hide the furnace as well, but yeah. So the time torch is just making this go super duper fast, and it's just getting all our fish. Um, and then, if we go around uh, through here, this is actually all mined out that I've just done recently. Um, I'm looking, uh, and these are all culinary generators. 
those are very simple to make also. Um, gunnery generator, just a survivalist generator, five iron, iron ingots, uh, one furnace, two redstone. And basically, if you put food into these, then they will start de dealing with power. And we actually need to send this somewhere because we've got an excess of power, apparently. And yet these have nothing because the potion system, the uh, potion systems, probably shut down. We probably have a little more books in here as well. Though. Yep, we got two more. Uh, we also have boots apparently, so we're gonna need to sort stuff out for armor and all that. But yeah, this is just the little power source that I've got going on now for my AE. It's basically, I, well, it's an excess of power. I believe because we've got 10 culinary generators we also have 6 of these things that are going all the time and these will constantly get us supplies like if we just look here there's fish coming out nothing's going to come out now because we're watching seriously there we go some more fish not quite as fast as I was hoping for but there we go we get some leather um, but you get all sorts from this as well as just the fish you get like loot drops as if you were fishing with the like lo uh, luck of the sea and stuff like that I think from like 1.7 and there we go another book and yeah basically we're just getting lots and lots and lots of just stuff and that's all completely free of power as well which is equally awesome and yeah that's basically all that fish is just being brought over here so we're actually getting power without putting very much effort in at all as long as the AE system is powered then that will run so really that's all very very cool and I think that is about it actually oh, guys I'm so sorry I'm so yawny today I, mean, I had an English exam but didn't think I was that tired anyway this thing is going to be getting all its power we shouldn't ever run out so yeah I'm going to meet you guys back in the future because that's where I recorded the first bit and we'll see what we're going to do today. So yeah, see you guys shortly.